Hello guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Google Recapture to your Forminator plugin form on WordPress. If you are here, then you already know that Recapture is a free service from Google that helps protect websites from spam and abuse. So let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is scroll down on your um, left side by here. You scroll down to plugin, go to add new plugin, so when that loads up, you're going to um, come to the plugin repository here. Um, you're going to click on search plugins and you search for Formulator. So once that comes up, you're going to see install now. The plugin is already active. That's why um, this is grayed out here. So you're going to see install now. You're going to click on that. You're going to see um activate you're going to click that as well so when you do that you're going to scroll down on your sidebar here and find out where the plugin is actually located so for me it, this is where it is so i'm just going to click on forms so when that comes up i'm just going to click on create form then to make this quick so we're not having to start all over again from the beginning i'm just going to click on contact us template here so again to click so i'm just going to name this recapture so i'm going to click on create and it's going to give me the form that it's created for me so one of the reasons why i like using Formulator it's is the fact that the UI, the user interface and experience is really cool, and you don't need this um, extensive learning curve to use it. So that is why I like using Formulator, and that's why I'm going to create a couple of tutorials for people that want to also use this as well. So as you can see, we have the first name, which you can edit by clicking on it, so you can edit the label, the placeholder, you can come to settings, choose if it's required or optional and all that. Then you can even um, give it some styling by um, giving it unique CSS classes. You understand this comes in handy when you want to um, do some manual CSS coding by yourself. So you can just name this uh, first first name um form whatever you want but that's not why we are doing this so i'm um, just going to cancel this back so to add the recapture plugin you're going to click on insert field um you're going to scroll down you can see capture here so when you do that you're going to click on insert fields so it's going to bring out this capture um menu for you so as you can see you have two capture methods you have the recapture and you have the h capture so for the purpose of this tutorial we are going to be using recapture you understand so let's click on recapture here so you have three recapture um three recapture types you have the checkbox invisible um recapture and then the version three so um I'm going to click on the text box on the checkbox here. I'm going to just there's really nothing to do here yet. So you're going to click on API keys. So when that loads up, you're going to come to the settings here. As you can see, it's asking for the site key and the secret key. So to create this is simple. What you want to do is just go to Google and search for Google Recapture. But if not, I'm going to um, drop a link to it in the um, description down below. So, um, by the way, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you. So, um, I'm just going to name this um, tutorial recapture. So, I'm using version 2. So, I'm going to click on version 2, which is the challenge. So, you can choose between two options. As if you remember correctly, here we have um, the checkbox invisible and recapture three. So we have the same thing here. This is the checkbox. This is the invisible recapture for version two. So I'm going to click on 
I'm not a robot, I'm going to leave it as that. So for the domain here, I'm just going to impute the domain I'm using the, I want to use the recapture for. So let's say this is it here. This is actually a client's website. So I'm going to have to blow this part out when um, I'm editing. So don't worry when you see that, it's just your domain name that should be there, you understand? So um, this is it here. Um, so we have the, so you don't need all this, you don't need this part, you don't need to feel this part of what you're sorry about this part. I don't really worry myself about it. What it does is it uses the domain name here to just give it a name so that you can easily identify what it's for. So, um, I'm going, to, I'm going to click on submit. So as you can see, I have the site key and the secret key here. So I'm just going to copy the site key. So I'm going to come back to my form here. Sorry, not this one. Okay, so I'm going to come back to my form here and just paste the site key here. So I'm going to go back and copy the secret key as well. Just going to paste it in. So once I do that, um, you see, just going to click on save settings. So as you can see, recapture added successfully. So as you can see, it brings up this um, recapture preview here now. So this just shows if this is working correctly. You understand so let's save settings um we go back to the form i'm going to click on preview here so um as you can see from this preview you can see that the recapture system is here now so if i want to see it's live in action you can really you can check it here now so let's just cancel this first and just fill this up with some dummy information so so i'm just going to take the this isn't compulsory message isn't compulsory so i'm just going to click on send message so okay sorry my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. So if you want to see this in action now, you're just going to click on the I'm not a robot. You're going to so let me just click on something wrong. It's asking for for cars. So I'm just going to click on something that is not cars. So you see. So when I click on verify. You see, please try again so you know the system actually works. You understand? So click on the right thing now. Just click on the traffic lights. So click on verify. Oops. So let me just click on the right thing now. Um, click on the bicycle. Click on the motorcycle. Click on verify. You can see that it works. So this just shows you that this actually works. So um, this is basically how you add recapture to your Forminator WordPress plugin. I, as I said, I like using Forminator because it's the inter the user interface. It's actually one of the best I've used uh, recently, and it's pretty straightforward. There's no jargons, no um, necessary unnecessary technical jargons for you to go through and all that and the bulk of these full functionalities they are free anyways so yes this is how you did um if you like this tutorial please remember to like subscribe and leave a comment thank you